you know, what you need to do differently in the second half? Obviously, you shut them down in the second half. Uh, really, just go out there, communicate, uh, just play our game. I mean, we knew the mistakes that we was making, so we just wanted to go out there and just fix them. What were the issues in the run, stopping the run, especially in the first half? Um, I mean, that, that offense does a lot of motions and shifts, so you got to communicate fast. So a lot of the, the things we just never seen before, so, you know, we was able to make adjustments, and, you know, they started to hit the gaps that we weren't able to fill. So, I mean, we made the adjustment, we was able to stop in the second half. What's your level of satisfaction? You guys were still pretty nasty defensively, but you didn't get penalties this week. Um, mm -hmm. how, how important was that for you guys to kind of cut that down? Uh, sure and sweet, it was really important. I mean, we kind of focus on that a lot. Uh, not having penalties, so it was really important this week. Sean, with uh, Jamari Sharp getting the start today, what did you see from him at a few pass breakups? Yeah, I mean, we, we knew that out of uh, Sharp already. I mean, he does that a lot in practice, so. I mean, it's kind of like the next man up mentality. Uh, so we all trusted him, believed in him, knew he was going to make plays. So, I mean, he was able to go out there and do that today. During the week, Amari said, credited you for kind of helping with communication and kind of setting the standard. How important has that been to your guys' success in the secondary in the communication part of it? Yeah, communication is real important, obviously, on defense. But in the secondary, um, you know, if we if one of us ain't on the same page, it's a touchdown. So, I mean, um, especially with D'Lo being out and Sharp going in, I had to kind of over-communicate with, with, with Sharp, and, you know, he was able to take that. So, I mean, communication is really important this week. How did that develop throughout the offseason? Did you have to work on it? I mean, did you guys kind of get closer? I mean, how much time is that spent on that? Uh, that's a lot of time. I mean, we had to watch a lot of film. Uh, it was a lot of reps, a lot of practicing. So, I mean, once you get more comfortable in the defense, I mean, a lot of us was new. So, once we got comfortable in the defense, it was able to communicate easy. How much for a guy like Aiden Fisher communicating to you? I know he's got the green dot. How much is that communication between you two? Uh, that's kind of easy. I mean, he's right there in front of me, so I'm, I'm able to get it first and kind of spread it out to a lot of guys in the back end. So, I mean, it makes it way easier, honestly. I ain't gonna lie. How tough is it to go up against Curtis in practice? <laughs> uh, it's real tough, I ain't gonna lie, especially with the, the receivers that they got. I mean, Kurt is a great quarterback. I ain't gonna lie. Like, he'll look you off one way and then throw it the other way, and it's like how, like, how do you have that much time to be able to do that, especially with our D-lines? I mean, Kurt is – kind of makes it easier for us on, on game days like this. So. What have you guys learned about yourself this year so far? Um, I would say, I mean, you know, we know we can battle against anybody. I mean, the real test is coming up uh, these next few weeks. But, I mean, so far we know if we play our game, we can beat anybody in the country. You guys had eight TFLs today, and that's kind of been a theme so far. What do you think allows that – you know, you're someone that can kind of see everything at safety. What do you think kind of allows you guys to get that pressure? Um, just being able to trust each other. I mean, communicate, uh, kind of just know our job, and just be able to play fast. Anything else, Sean?